Hello and welcome to Never Into With Aragon. So I'd like to discuss what to do next after you've hit level 20, which is now the new maximum. After completing the Whispering Caverns, you should be at least nearly 20,000 item level. If you're like 17,000 item level, then I highly recommend you would join a guild since you'll gain three of these boons and each boon will give you a thousand item level. Now just by going through the zone, let's say the Whispering Caverns, completing all of these quests, you will get gear which should have about 850. If you only have that green gear, then what you need to do is either go to the seals vendor and you can trade in your different seals. For example, we can spend these seals of adventure, which you will get when you level up, along with when you go and do the lower random queues. You can see all of this gear has item level 950. You have your shirt and pants, which actually have a thousand, and your rings also having a thousand. Your weapons will only have 975 there. So make sure to pick these up if you have lesser variants of them. And that will give you your helpful boost in item level along with joining a guild. From there, you're then kind of stuck because what you want to go straight for is campaigns and in particular, Descent into Avernus. However, you will have to have, it's required now, to have 26,000 item levels to be able to start this campaign. The main reason you want to start this campaign is because of the currency, the chaotic writings and its vendor. If you've looked around anywhere for how to obtain free companions and mounts, then this is the way to do it. You go to this Juma guy here and he will sell you these Juma surprise bags. And these are what you want to be obtaining, at least hundreds of them. You obtain those and you open them and you have a chance to obtain these rewards and many of them can be companions along with mounts like we just obtained this hawk here and it will give you decent bonuses and it's completely random and you want to stick to the main thing of dps you want offense statistics tanks you want defensive statistics and healers you want a select few offense statistics that being power crit and crit severity and then outgoing healing and that's all you want to do as for your mounts, it doesn't really matter which mounts you obtain, at least when you're starting out, but you of course ideally want a mount with a decent equip power. Many of the lesser mounts that you can obtain from Juma will only give you this explosive equalizer or this tunnel vision, which all means is pretty good for single target DPS. And you will also obtain this rejuvenating favor. Those three mount combat powers are the only ones you're going to obtain from Juma. Otherwise, it's up to you to get legendary mounts, which you can get them fairly cheap at this stage. You might think a million astro diamonds is not cheap, but indeed it is 10 days grind. And you want to be obtaining something like this Pegasus, which would give you this grand inspiration. You need combat powers that gives buffs to allies and also buffs to yourself. So keep that in mind when you want to level up those mounts. So how do we get to Valenhas then if you're stuck under that 26,000 item level? Well, you literally are going to have to go and grind out different adventures and campaigns that are available to you. What I do suggest is going straight to Undermountain. It is the first one there and the lowest item level requirement. And once you progress through this, you will have a chance at different rewards. And you will also be able to get your hands on these different companion gears, which will have that 1000 item level or just over it or slightly under it. As a newer player, do not worry about upgrading insignias to like legendary or even mythic. Purple ones are just fine. Colors, they're like a premium kind of thing. Just stick with your two blue ones, which you'll obtain by questing. But if you've level up a character and you're seeing this video after this never ember recruitment event is over you'll only have one of those blue mount collars otherwise you can of course get lucky within running these different skirmishes you can run skirmishes and generally get collars but it'll take you like 20 tries or so you can see obtained one here unified regal but you'll have to enchant them and they're pretty expensive and they will cost you a bit of these reagents which you should have quite a lot of them but you can see it's 200 item level colors are one that would boost your item level a significant amount 
They are expensive though. Insignias don't really worry about them. You can see Legendary will only give you 200. Mythic will give you 500. So stick with just your purples at the beginning. Enchantments, it's the same story. You can see a maximum enchantment. Let's go to our rank 15s. Again, only gives 200 and the cost is just insane. With your weapon and armor enchantment, just stick with your rank 8 or 9 again. The item level will only be like 200, 300, but the price to upgrade them is again just insane. Even to buy one at max rank 14 is like 7, 6 million. And otherwise, with these artifacts, sure, try pick up the ones that are cheap and have a decent amount of item level. You can see you can upgrade them to purple fairly cheaply. You will only cost you these reagents and you can get them through just farming Dread Ring, that's another adventure I would recommend, or campaign actually, that I would recommend farming out. Once you have got your Dread Ring and you have unlocked these different layers, you can see look in the schedule, if you grind them out on certain days, the certain layers, like Dread Spire, Dread Forge, Phantasmal Fortress, you can obtain these rank 5 enchanting stones, which you can either sell or you can use, which as a newer player is what you want to be doing, to upgrade this artifact year and these artifacts, and they will give you a bit more item level. You pretty much want to do everything you can that's going to give you the most benefit in terms of item level so you can get into Valenhas, start grinding out those Juma bags to start obtaining these different companions and mounts which you can then go and upgrade using upgrade tokens. Now is where I definitely suggest you invest something into the game, some money, if you're enjoying this game. If you want to take it really long, the very long road, or just getting lucky, you can of course avoid paying for VIP, since that is the only thing I recommend getting in this game. The rest on the Zen market is usually a waste of your money. You want to be getting this VIP primarily for its benefit of giving you a daily enchanted key. This enchanted key you will gain every day for free and you will also obtain a bunch of reroll tokens. You can see I've claimed it already today. Now this enchanting key will give you the ability to open those lock boxes. Within these lock boxes, the major reward is terminal and trade buyers, which you will use just here to go and purchase your upgrade tokens, your mount upgrade tokens, and also your companion upgrade tokens. This is the major way to obtain them. You wait. You can see I have a thousand trade bars. I'm not spending them. I'm waiting till there's a discount. You wait to the discount and then you spend them and these will be reduced by 33%. They will cost two per token. You need about 3,000 upgrade tokens for companions alone. And you need about 2,000 for your mounts. And that would give you the maximum bolster here, which would give you the maximum item level from its equip power and also your combat power and same with companions you can get 3000 item level here and then a 4500 item level through those equip powers so that's what you want to do as a new player don't worry about the majority of these campaigns and adventures you can see the rewards are pretty abysmal boon points will not contribute anything with regards to item level to your character the benefits are minuscule that is something I would only worry about when you actually want to maximize your character and get its fullest potential when you finally reached endgame at about 50,000 item level. 60,000 is now the cap, just over that, at least with the maximum mythic insignias. And you don't really need that right now since there is no content which you need that high amount of item level. You can see the maximum trial will only require 35,000 item level but good luck completing it with that. Vault of Stars can be easily completed with a 50,000 item level character, even with a full party on that. As long as you, of course, have prioritized the right gear for your role. So I hope this video was somewhat helpful to you newer players who have just reached level 20 and where to go next. A quick summary. Try get your item level to 26,000 and get into Valenhas and start grinding Juma bags as quickly as possible. In order to do so, first unlock Under Mountain. Keep grinding your daily Astro Diamonds. Purchase rank 9 enchantments and runestones. 
purchase a rank 8 armor enchantment, you should have a free rank 8 weapon enchantment. Once you finish Undermountain, get that upgraded companion gear by grinding out your master expeditions. And otherwise, try if you can get as many insignias as possible and get them upgraded to your epic rarity you can always go and purchase them on epic as well just grinding out your daily astro diamonds from these random queues trying to get that hundred thousand every day along with having vip and obtaining those keys you could in about 250 days get a character up to about 45,000 item level and that is without any luck. You can of course obtain some free mythic mounts from your lockboxes that you open along with various other rewards. But if you're really unlucky, about 250 days in this game you'll need to spend with VIP. So that's about 80 euro or 80 dollars of money you would have to spend. And then you can get to end game with decent gear. And from there it's just min maxing and more grinding. So if I presented this well, consider leaving the video a like, and if you're new around here, consider subscribing. And we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.